Well, hello there, guys. Agrippa Max Zenius here coming at you with a first look at Terminus Total War Imperium. This is a uh, actual mod for um, the Attila Total War franchise, or the Attila Total War game, I should say. Um, and uh, I really, really thought this looked cool. I think most of you realize I have not done a Total War campaign in a long, long time. Um, and so it really interested me to take a look at this and take a look at the Imperium campaign. Looks like we've got a lot of provinces here just for the Western Empires. Unfortunately, the province of Hispania is taken over, of course, the province of uh, Lusitania, which I was hoping would be in the game. But that's all right. What can you do? Sometimes you don't always get what you wish for. Am I right? We've also got the province of Africa, um, and I think this is really, really just awesome. The amount of uh, actual um, information they provide in this mod. Uh, the Comis Pavkali, this was caught unawares. A gold leaf crown and a florid letter announced that the com that the Comis would share in the ceaseless labors of our sacred emperor Honorius. This was once a land of hard, ten tenacious land of fearsome tribal raiders and Carthaginians. The best of the Scipii, Gracchus, and Julii variously attacked and made deals with these difficult peoples. The Gladius came from the people of this land. Now this is the safe and bountiful land of olives and emperors. All right, well, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to quit the game, but just to avoid any issues... Sorry, guys. Um, one thing I must do is say sorry, music. I love you, but I don't love you that much. Um, we're going to pull this down, of course, except, and we are going to try, just for fun, just for fun, of course, uh, to jump in as the province of Hispania. Of course, what would I be without showing you every single one of the different factions? The Achaean Rebellion? I mean, that's so cool, guys. Starting, of course, in Corinth uh, to maybe fight against the Eastern Roman Empire. I would imagine it's probably very, very tough to play as them. Um, but nonetheless, really, really cool. In fact, I might even try the Achaean Rebellion just so that we get some sort of quick battle. I think that, that would be pretty fun. We've got the Himyar, the Lachmids. Uh, nomadic tribes, I think, are pretty much the same. No, the Sabirs, um, which is awesome. And for the Norsemen, pretty much the same. Jutes, Geats, and Danes. Those damn Danes. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the province of Hispania, see what this mod has to offer, and see if it's as great as it looks. I mean, already the, um, you know, I always can, I'm not saying I can tell that the modder really, really tried um, his or her absolute best channel, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm just good at showing off mods. I have no idea. But for what, make sure to show this mod some love, hit that like, um, but definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, so, the sign of a great leader. It is knowing how far your people can be pushed. Wars are significant, dramatic events that should not be undertaken lightly. Each turn you at war with your faction's war weariness will increase. When it reaches a high enough level, your faction will begin to receive penalties. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, respite during peacetime, while at war weariness will reduce quickly. I'm not going to read all of this, obviously, but... Interesting. So war definitely plays a great role over here. Now, one thing I'm noticing, it looks like every single one of our factions here, um, every single one of the factions or, or the parts that I can see um, have a very similar color. Now, of course, I understand that Caesar Augusta, no, go away. Um, I understand that Caesar Augusta is one of my towns, which is kind of cool. Um, so is Pompeilu. Um, but what I really love is Olisipio, of course, the original Lisboa, Lisbon, which is awesome. And we've got this guy right here um, in Cordoba. Uh, it looks like uh, Panacius Varus, uh, the leader of the Hispanians, I guess you could say. So I'm, of course, going to be recruiting some units. Are you guys crazy? I want some Lemitani bodyguards, um, as many as I can get without going totally crazy. And eventually, we're probably going to attack Semobriga. Uh, or Carthago Nova, one of these places. I think they belong to the Western Roman Empire. So it would be quite a huge attack. Um, we've got a Latin Patriarchal Chapel, and I, I forgive me, guys, I haven't played Attila Total War in so long to know if this stuff is new. Um, but nonetheless, I really enjoy it. It's looking beautiful. Now, obviously, if I were to actually play um, an actual campaign in this game, uh, I would be putting a lot more investments into stuff like the auditorium, um, etc. It looks like our food level is decent, so I'm actually going to build a tabarne, a city center, uh, to increase the wealth of this city here. Um, and I'm definitely going to increase the amount of men in our general's um, forces. 
All right, let's take a look here at the military, functional specialization, and unified law. Again, I have not played enough until it to know if this stuff is new, but it, to me it looks pretty new. Um, I can't tell 100% if that's the case. Definitely looks exciting. And we can also assign a provincial governor, um, which I love this part of Attila Total War that Rome doesn't, and that's the familial aspect. It's one of the reasons that um, games like, for instance, um, Crusader Kings 2 are really like my favorite games. Um, so I'm actually going to assign one of my sons to go ahead and be the governor of Lusitania. That might not work. Oh, there we go. All right, good enough. We still have another governor to assign. I'll get this guy Quintus Viteris control of Baetica. Why not? Um, we can control these provinces, get a little more income from them. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys, we're going to come back, of course, when we um, have met an enemy army. And I can tell already that for sure uh, this has been changed, the provincial edicts. Um, that's really cool. So we can also do ecumenical manners, lower corruption, and uh, lower the religious influence of non-Christian sects. That's probably something we want to focus on. We've got one more in Baetica. Uh, and I guess for Baetica, hmm, let's focus on bread and circuses. Make the people happy here. The last thing we need is a rebellion in our home territory. But we will return, guys, when we get into a battle so we can take a look at that part of the mod, too. Don't forget, put a lot of work into this video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button if you like what you're watching. And let me know if you want to see a campaign using this mod. So one really cool aspect I had to show you guys is we've got to carve out a kingdom and assert ourselves as rightful ruler of Espana. To do that, we have to own 22 regions and we actually create the Hispanic Empire, um, which would be unbelievable. I mean, that would be huge. So let's take a look here. Now, I've got my Limitani bodyguards. I think that's pretty much enough to, to have a strong fighting force. But you know what? It's always good to be 100% safe, am I right? I might even hire some mercenaries eventually, but I'm headed right to this large city of Cartagonova, and I hope that on the way, maybe, just maybe, I can meet um, an army in the field and have a decent battle here. Um, I'm really looking for a, a good battle here, something that can show off the capabilities of this mod. So far, I can't see any sort of... Um, units that I could use, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some more Limitane bodyguards. And you can see the actual uh, movement through the factions is quite quick. I like that. When Attila first came out, it took forever to get through each of these factions. Now, um, they've definitely improved on that. And seeing all these new factions, like the Achaean Rebellion, is really making me, uh, making, interesting me, I should say, uh, in the actual, uh, the actual mod itself. I mean, there's so many interesting new factions that I can mess around with and play with. Um, but let's head into Cartagonova, and I believe this is, yes, this is Rome. Uh, we must show them we mean business. Let's attack Cartagonova. Yes, we'll declare war on Rome, of course, uh, led by uh, Flavius Augustus. Um, so this is still the time of the emperors, of course. Now, Carthagonova doesn't seem to be hosting a very large army, and what I was hoping for was, like, actually watching a battle. So what I might do, guys, is I might pop out, I might go to the custom battles, just so that we can watch a battle uh, with something resembling this army against the enemy. Um, I hope you guys don't mind that, but that's probably what I'm going to do, so that we get... All okay, guys, here we are mod. leading the attack <clears throat> against Rome. And I would lie if I said that I took exactly the same units we had on the campaign map. I saw some pretty awesome units that I had to get a look at, like the Achaia Militiae. Uh, and we are facing, of course, Rome itself. So we're starting the battle. They have a pretty decent setup as well. Um, and we're going to head right into battle, guys. We are going to try to get into this fight um, to see what happens, essentially. I'm not even so much concerned about um, winning or losing. I'm really concerned with having a good time and showing off the military aspects of this new mod, which, to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure if they're any good. I mean, I'm guessing they are. Now, this, of course, represents our leader, the Corinthus Praetoria, and I think I'm going to probably put them here. It does seem that the Hispanics have gotten a lot of... Um, influence from the Romans, which makes sense. Uh, Hispania was a Roman province. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when we close into battle 
with these Romans. And I have given them some pretty badass troops as well, to be honest with you. Um, they do seem to be on the defensive 100%. We're going to be the attacking faction, uh, but I just want to get a close look. And obviously, these, Roman, these Romans look very, very different from the Romans you would expect, um, you know, in just, for instance, Rome Total War. And that's because this is 395 AD. We've got some very, very different units here, but just beautiful artwork on each of these units and the amount of work they've put in uh, to actually uh, improving this and, and making it look as realistic as possible. So we are going to be attacking the enemy. We're probably going to be attacking them um, head on, unfortunately, um, which is not always the greatest situation. They've also got some uh, what, we, what I like to call tank traps, but which are really cavalry traps in front of their men. And what I'm going to be doing is, of course, my usual tactic, taking my cavalry units and flanking the enemy. Um, it does look like they might be reacting to it. Um, but let me go ahead. I'm going to also start pulling up my regular melee units, and I'm not even building a formation group here. I'm just going to go one by one, move them forward. We will get back to regular speed very, very quickly. Don't worry. Uh, but here we go. Oh, it looks like the battle's already beginning. The Romans are definitely getting ready here for a defense um, and I can't wait to see what happens once we actually get into fisticuffs, once we actually start fighting. Um, I do see their movement is a little uh, erratic, and that either means they're quite anxious about what's about to happen, or they're setting up for an un unbelievable defense. Now, I'm not going to be using my absolute best fighting skills. By the way, these units were the ones we had um, on the campaign map, these guys right here. Um, as well as the Limitani bodyguards, which are back here. What the hell are you boys doing back here? Get forward. Um, so essentially, this is what we're going to be fighting with. And I think we're going to go ahead for a standard attack. I'll send in the skirmishers first. Uh, of course, send in my very light skirmishers as well. And... Grab my Limitani as well as my regular melee troops. Start moving towards the battlefield. Of course, we've got our general unit nearby. Where is our general unit? Where did you go, son? All the way back here. We want to move him forward for sure. Um, and I'm going to break, or I'm going to close into combat here. We are attacking uphill, slightly uphill. It's kind of half and half. Um, but it's going to be a vicious fight one way or another. I can tell that right now. So we are moving forward here. Um, let's see. Move forward. And pretty soon we are going to charge in on the enemy troops. I think we're probably going to start from this side on the right uh, and then move and work our way in. So I'm actually going to pause. We've had this discussion many times in Total War games. We're not cheating by pausing because <laughs> realistically speaking, uh, if this were a battle and I was a general, I would have enough time uh, to or I have given orders to my men already for what they're supposed to do. Of course, I sometimes don't like pausing because I'm assuming getting those orders out would take a while. Um, you might have to have runners go to each of your individual generals, but what the hell? We're having fun here. We can do what the hell we want, right? Am I right? Am I right? I sure hope so. Um, and we're going to take our general, move him over here, and get this damn battle started. Go for it, boys. Can't wait to see what it's going to be like when we break on the enemy forces. And of course, they could totally annihilate us. But I'm trying to surround these guys, smash them from multiple sides. We've still got our cavalry units. We can't forget about them. And I'm going to be moving them probably over here behind the enemy, um, just in case we need them, which we more than likely will. Um, and here we go. The battle is about to commence. We're about to crash in to the enemy. I was about to make a really shitty joke. We're about to crash this in. Ugh, why, Agrippa, with your puns? Why? Um, so here we go. Going to crash into their uh, Armigeri Defensori. And we can actually see that the amount of melee damage or the amount of missile damage caused by the enemy is pretty intense. I mean, really something that I was not expecting. Already, look at that. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just freaking unbelievable. The colors you can see here, the fighting, I mean, this truly feels like an epic battle, and it is. I mean, it really is an epic battle. So, of course, now we're going to be bringing in our cavalry units. I might go straight for their general, honestly. In fact, I probably should have taken my own general um, and moved him over here where the rest of my cavalry is. I think that's where he's going to be most, most useful, um, honestly, but I can't say that for sure. Let's get a look here. Boy, those Romans are not to be trifled with. 
And it looks like our boys are fighting as much as they can. Uh, but they might not be able to break these Romans. I do love the different uniforms, etc. Let's take our cavalry and let's smash them. Come on, boys. Let's do this for Hispania. And I'm probably going to go straight for their Limitani bodyguards. Uh, probably a unit I find more dangerous than any others. And actually, I'll go this way. Boom! Our general is under attack. No, 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 no. We can't have that. Well, he's watching the battle, of course. Um, we could get him off his horse. Um, frenzy charge. Oh, my goodness. We've got to get this general around the enemy to try um, and possibly flank them. So, so far, our cavalry is doing a pretty good job here in the center. Look at that. I mean, the amount of action going on is unbelievable. Um, I rarely drop frames in any of these games. Right now, you know, I'm usually at maybe 60 frames. Right now, my frames are about 32 to 27. Um, just because of all the unbelievable action going on. So we're going to charge right into the enemy general here. Um, I'm going to make sure that we keep attacking the enemy general. We might as well. We're out of missile units. And see if we can flank the enemy here. And maybe get a nice victory. I'm definitely definitely going to use that frenzy charge mode uh, before I attack. But I think I'm actually going to be going for the center over here. Where the Romans seem to be doing very, very well. Um, then again, maybe just go for this area. There's a nice chunk of Romans there as well. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to try the frenzy charge. It adds acceleration. Um, it decreases deceleration. Increases charge speed. Looks like their general is getting smart enough to get the hell out of here before our general arrives. Um, so, let's go ahead. Let's take our glorious general for Hispania and charge. Yes! If we die, we die with honor. Those damn Limitani bodyguards, what are you doing? Already we've got some enemies attacking and flanking us. Um, not surprising at all there. But we still got these uh, cavalry units. We're going to use them, of course. really want our boys to finish off the rest of the enemy here. Still quite a lot of enemy that we could finish off um, that are causing us some problems. The Herculani Senores. Herculani Senores suggest to me that, uh, yeah, they're pretty damn good uh, fighters. So some of our men are running from the enemy, and it looks like the enemy is sending reinforcements to reinforce the line here, but we've got them trapped on all sides, as you can see. At least that's the attempt, to try to get them trapped on all sides. Let's see. Charge in! Oh my goodness, this is a bloodbath. It is a bloodbath. <laughs> Come on, boys. Our general is taking some nasty hits, so we've got to be careful. Glory. That's what I'm talking about. But we can't just leave these men back. Our men have rallied, and we will lead that rally to victory. Let's see if there's any other abilities our general can use here. Um, let's see the brace. Yeah, I think this is just going to provide a bonus to one of our existing units. Pretty sure that's what it is. So yeah, we'll brace the cohorts. Of course, we're not going to let these guys just sit around, charge in with our cohorts. Look at that carnage. You can't even tell who's who. And I mean, in a battle this, you know, in this time period, I wouldn't be expected if that were the case. Uh, a lot of the times you better stay in formation or you might end up stabbing one of your own buddies. I mean, friendly fire happens even today. I'm sure that friendly fire happened at this time period as well. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Here we go, charging into the Combatensi Spears. Oh, I think we've taken the battle. I think we've got a victory, boys and girls. Um, I definitely want to take a look at the dead after the battle because it's going to be an absolute bloodbath. Um, let's go ahead and charge. Now we're just dealing with uh, the enemy general. So we're going to try to chase down this Roman dog. Uh, and look at that. I mean, that is a beautiful sight. Oh, well, if you are as into bloodshed and war as I am, of course. Um, a war is never pretty. Uh, but if you're a war aficionado, it is somewhat pretty. I mean, just the amount of carnage that this mod has is beautiful. Just beautiful. I don't think we've ever seen a battle this big um, in any of our Attila Total War videos or campaigns or anything like that. So it really excites me. I think it's absolutely awesome. And that is, of course, going to be a victory for us. 
Um, but I just wanted to show off the mod. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I certainly did. What can I say? Um, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know in those comments down below um, that this was something that you liked so that we can either do this mod again, maybe play this mod, um, start a campaign, or also just hit that like button and, and subscribe and comment to help the channel. It really helps the channel. I can't stress that enough. So keep that in mind, guys, when you are watching the video. Thank you for watching an awesome, awesome mod, Impedium. Uh, I believe it's called Impedium. I can't remember the other name, but it will be in the title. Um, just a great, great bit of work. Really awesome. I love when people go to this length to create this kind of mod. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care and have an awesome, awesome day.